guys, we're gonna do some pressure cooking porotos, Chilean style. All right, so what we got is the pressure cooker and it's rocking out the beans. My wife accidentally bought the wrong beans. She got lima beans. We're supposed to have navy beans. We're gonna roll with it. So when that pressure cooker's done, we have like marinara sauce with shaved up, chopped up carrot. We've got butternut squash chunks. My mother-in-law makes bigger chunks, but my wife's rolling it to pre-cut. We got some noodles to go in there and some water for extra sauce. So what we're gonna do is let the beans do their thing. We're gonna go in after the beans have pressured off. We're gonna pour in all the other crap. We're gonna put it in for another five or six minutes in the pressure cooker and we're gonna see how it turns out. Yeah. Flip it, let it rip. We're gonna do its thing for a minute. As soon as that's done, we'll open the lid and pour the stuff in. All right, shh. I have some tech stuff coming tonight. I ordered on Amazon today and my wife doesn't know. So anyway, as soon as it gets here, I'll show you what I'm gonna get. So I'm gonna repurpose this old Canon T2i. I've got a great lens on here. It's a 17 to 50. It's a Sigma lens. I used to have the Canon 1750 APS-C. That was a bad to the bone lens. I sold it to a friend, but I've got the Sigma and I've got the Canon. And then I was downstairs looking through some of my crap and I have all this cool old gear. I've got this like monitor. Check this out. This little lily put monitor that I bought way back when, when that was really popular. And I'm going to use that monitor, that Canon and a new tripod. That's the gear that's coming. I'm going to use that tripod. I'm like looking out the door because Amazon, I like ordered it at three this afternoon. It said same day delivery. I'm like, how does that work? I don't even know how that works, but it's coming to my door. So I'm going to get it and hook all this up tonight and I'm going to make like a little desk rig. It'll be here soon and I'm going to set it up and I'm going to start using the Canon because I hate leaving a perfectly good camera just sitting downstairs collecting dust and I like the Lumix better for walking around. So anyway, that's the side secret. Steamer's almost done. I think I'm going to go let it out. She's ready. The magic bomb. Oh yeah. Hot beans in the house. All right, so there's our limas. Let's see if they're even soft. They look like they're de-shelled almost. Yeah, they're pretty soft. That's not gonna taste bad at all. I'm gonna be worried about the wrong thing. So I'm gonna take the noodles I got. I'm gonna do this. Like that. Maybe smack on the side. Alright, I'm gonna have to do two hands here, guys. I like a piece. Ingredients around. Got everything cooking, rolling, dripping all over the place. Let's seal that back up. Cancel beans. And that's it. Go rock that out for another five minutes. Just get the noodles cooked and everything cooked down. We'll be eating that in like, well, it'll take like 10 minutes to get the temp, five minutes to cook, and probably five minutes to depressurize. So. 10 till seven. I'm recording it. Oh boy. All right, so it's done. And we're gonna pop the steam. Oh, away from the cabinet. There's the light. Where is Amazon? I'm dying here, I'm dying. All right, I gotta eat dinner. All right, so it's done. That's what it looks like. That's chili. That's my daughter. Oh, she's not. Yeah, oh yeah, it's on YouTube. <laughs> so it's not porotos like we're used to. Usually we have spaghetti noodles and it's a little water, more watery, but it's uh, it's waterier. It's more watery, but this is actually pretty good. It tastes delicious. Sweating my head off right now. My stuff came. Alrighty. I don't know how good of lighting this is gonna be. Use the messy desk, guys. Comes with some stuff. Oh, that's cool. That's gonna be my new. That's straight. That's pretty good. So now what I'm gonna do. So that, my friends, is my rig. 
Oh man, that's sweet. So now, here's my rig. Me filming my rig, filming my rig. It's a little big and obnoxious, but it's gonna be really cool because I'm gonna be able to um, come up here and basically pull focus on myself. You can see up here my audio meters are going. Got all my information here. Um, that's gonna be really cool. Very, very cool. And I'm putting my T2i back to good use, which I'm pretty happy about. So.